Hello parents and guardians, this is Dr. Cognetta. And Shauna Stafford. This video is going to serve as a guide to mastery learning portfolios and outcome trackers. We hope to do two things. We want to show you how to access your child's MLP and outcome tracker, as well as show you how to interact with the outcome tracker once you are on it. If you do not have a Gmail account, we encourage you to open one. You can go to google.com and at the top right you'll see the Gmail link. There you can create a free Gmail account. If you already have one and are just needing to have your student's tracker shared with you, uh, we're going to show you that in a few moments. If you currently do not have access to the tracker or the MLP and need your child to share that with you, please ask them to open up their Chromebook and follow along with this video. Once they're logged in, you'll see this 3 by 3 grid that is an app launcher. You click on that, have them click on that, you'll see a link to the drive. It's this triangular looking icon here. Once they're logged in, we're going to ask that they search for the Mastery Learning Portfolio because it'll be one of the many files that they have in their drive. This is what Drive looks like. It's a file folder of all of their documents. So please have them pull up their Mastery Learning Portfolio. It's a document that is linking all of their outcome trackers for all the courses they will take while they're at AGLA. In order to have that shared with you, on the top right hand side there's a button titled Share. Once you press that or have your child press that on their Chromebook, they can enter your email address, make sure that they click Edit, and then press Done or Share and that document will be instantly shared with you and it will remain shared with you. You'll receive an email informing you that you received that document. Once you're on the Mastery Learning Portfolio, you'll see all the courses that your student can take. If there's an outcome tracker linked to a course, then it'll look like this example here. This is how you'll access that, the trackers. Again, you may need this document shared with you as well, so please follow the steps that we just shared with the MLP. At this point, I'm going to ask Shauna to share with you how the tracker is organized. At the top, you'll see the gradebook for the whole semester on the left. On the right-hand side, you'll see the progress report and where each student should be at each progress report to show what they're on pace to receive by the end of the semester. If you look down and to the left, you'll see each rubric. Every outcome has a rubric with it, so students have the information they need to access the rubric. It'll have an I can statement at the top saying what's expected of them. And then if they're emerging, what it will look like, developing, proficient, and advanced. In the middle, you'll see that this is where students put their evidence. So we ask students to put evidence to show how they are proficient or advanced in a skill. And then they write a reflection explaining how they got there. When they finish with the evidence and the reflection, then the advisor will put a score in for them. And sometimes they need to do several things in order to master an outcome. In that case, you might see multiple numbers in this column. You will only see one number in this column, and that shows that they have mastered this skill for the semester, and they are done with it and can move on. The amount of skills they master equals their grade at the end of this semester. We hope this guy was helpful in helping you access the MLP and the outcome trackers and gain a better understanding of how the trackers work. Again, through frequent visits and use, you're going to become more and more comfortable with the information on here. And we hope that it serves as a springboard to, to quality conversations between you and your child about their learning. Thanks for your time.